Hello guys, good morning. Again, Renty Cristo. Today, our topic bus bar, bus dock, or busway topics. So, how the installation and how to do the testing. So, if you are new in my YouTube channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share to your colleagues so that they will familiar about the electrical instrumentation instruments, uh, telecom, and other personal development and businesses. Okay, let's proceed. What does back bus dock connection mean? Bus dock is used to commercial, industrial settings to conduct electricity to power cables or cable bus. Structurally, a power bus dock is a sheet metal dock containing neither aluminum or copper bus bar and metallic strip or bars that conduct substantial electrical current in grounded metal enclosure. So, what is the purpose of a bus bar? A bus bar is an electrical junction used for collecting electrical power from the incoming feeders and distributes them to the outgoing feeders. The main purpose of the bus bar is to carry electricity and distribute it. Okay, now we understand the bus bar. Next, this is the example. So you can see from the building, this is the transformer. Okay. So this is outdoor, our transformer, as you can see here. And then this is our bus dock or busway. Okay, connecting to our switch gear. So this is the actual. So cut out. This is the cut out. Then connected here. Okay. So this is my project example this is the switch gear so as you can see switch gear and then we have a connection here so this is our bus the uh, bus connection in this area so bus dock line connection so as per as per vendor this is the vendor manual operations installation as you can see here so this is now our actual installation so this is the connection so remember guys the connection one two three there is a tag here we have a tag to identify which particular sequence during the solution so you will not be miss the sequence because uh, if you miss the sequence then problem as per manual uh, installation this one one two and then connected and so on okay and lock lock nut washers etc everything has been there so you can see here and always remember guys after completing the connection this is the plate as you can see here there is a red mark so meaning torquing is completed you need to do bolt torquing all right so connection from the transformer to switch gear. So this is the one passing from the cutout wall of the building, switch gear room or substation building. So this is the cutout, but remember guys, you need to sell this, okay? Anyway, you can see that one in our general arrangement drawing and also installation details. So you're providing Sealed here, sealed. So, MCT. So, whatever procedures and uh, coming coming from that informations from the vendor or from our engineering team. So they're the one who decide what kind of materials to be used here. Okay. So this is our vertical connection. As you can see, down to transformer. Okay, so we have a, la a lot of sequence here. 
one, two, three. So make it's around my I think it's around eight transformer. So you can see inside of our bus duck line. So bus duck line R Y B N. So connecting line. This is red, yellow, blue, and neutral. So you can see the level red and the level here that is uh, black that is our neutral and then yellow and also our blue okay that is our connection our three-piece line torquing the bolt so this is what i'm telling to you you can see here just, just a sort of example only that inside you need to every bolt there is a torquing and marking so that you will not forget during the installation so bus bar bus connection whatever connection there is a bolt and especially switch gear okay transformer and connecting with the bus bar bolt must be there and torquing must be there sorry okay so line insulation resistant test so now we are proceeding our testing so between its face with all other conductors and supports earthed so as you can see here the formula uh, 0.1 mega ohms over voltage at 1000 volts 100 mega ohms as per IEC 61439-1 So clean and dry all crevice fats around bird terminal before the test number two consult vendor representative in case reading are low or inconsistent because sometimes guys uh, dur during my experience we do the testing of our bus bar connection conductivity test that's what we call dielectric test sometimes there is a problem with the testing and then we have an argument related all of this uh, testing from the contractor our client our operations and then vendor can answer that one so that's why every do every testing that we made at site the vendor is there as well to support of the contractor to have an answer from our query or questions okay so routine test work test is specified for only one second however work test is extending during one minute so successful test part shall be tested 85% factory test is 3.5 kV practice a test so our transformer gas for your information is that 6.6 6 uh, 6 kV down to 415 volts okay then as always that is uh, our rule of thumbs that always do the testings for one minute duration okay and then you need to check the phase sequence test check if the phase sequence of the connection is in accordance with the layout drawing reporting of this test done by means of reporting insulation resistant test i will share this to you guys the testing how we do the testing okay so the test report and then next power frequency withstand test that we called high path test so the test carried out according to IEC as what I mentioned here 61439 and then this one is the 6 part 11.9 the voltage starts 0 and is gradually raised up to 5 to 10 seconds this test voltage is then maintained for 1 minute okay failure criteria test R so this is all the failure what's happening during the testing so maybe plus over electrical breakdown or visual damage so test report means frequency withstand test report so another form of test report so that is our insulation resistant test 
this is the form guys you need to fill up so testing form of this report so record to be submitted and for the record purposes of mechanical completion and ready for commissioning as well so this is the basis to proceed and verification during the time when you do commissioning as well okay so this is the sample of the test results as you can see I mentioned here BD bus duck 001B you can see here bus duck 001A that's why there is a page, there is a sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and so forth so every joint so let's say 1201 and 1202 so how many how many connection you can say 9 connection okay so this is the test result so again another connecting 1203 1204 305 all of this so bus bar IR value so this is our red, yellow, blue, and neutral. So you need to connect con the, the continuity test and IR test. So this is the value that you can get. So giga ohms. All right. Next. So test equipment or instrument. This is our meager. So we are do we're using this to do this thing for the uh, higher value, like a transformer. We do the testing this one and this one also CPC 100. You can do also testing using this, uh, especially in our switch gear and also panel board and CT, v, VT. You can do this one as well. Okay, this is the uh, instrument, our uh, test instrument. So I'll just uh, share with you guys the protection. And the next topic that we are uh, we need to cater so I will share with you whole transformer so what is the transformer testing all the information related to this the transformer so this is the protection see you can see this is the cubicle this is the uh, cubicle of the transformer so CT for WTI so WTI means the winding temperature indicator so indicates winding temperature the transformer alarm trip and color control contacts this instrument operates a principle of thermal imaging and it's not actual measurement so this is our protection guys if you are wondering as you can see here also this is our grounding connection so earthing this one so next uh, presentation that I will share related transformer. So to those uh, new, click the subscribe and then click the bell button so that you can notify during my uploaded video related all the electrical instrumentation telecom topics as well. Thank you guys and thank you for support and watching please like share and subscribe my channel so that it's and see you have a nice day grace be with you all